Hey, so you're thinking about moving to Jacksonville? Well, there's a lot of neighborhoods and communities and developments in Jacksonville area. So where do you move to? Well, in this video here, I'm going to be taking you to one of those new master plan communities. It's called E-Town, and it's on the south side of Jacksonville. And what we're going to be focusing on is where the single-family homes of a particular neighborhood, Kettering, is. Now, I'm going to take you to this site. I'm going to show you where the Welcome Center is. I'm going to show you where the Hub Center, which is the Welcome and Hub. And I'm also going to show you the Amenity Center. We're going to drive the road all the way to the neighborhood and then when I get to the neighborhood I'm gonna walk it out that's right we're not just gonna sit here all day looking at slideshows here from my office I'm gonna be out there on the on the pavement walking for you and showing you what the neighborhoods really like hey and we're gonna to get to it in three hi I'm Tom Kerr and as a real estate agent I get a lot of calls from folks wanting to relocate up into this area and wanting information about it. Plus they check out my channel and check out all the videos. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notifications so you're notified when I get a new video up. Also, if you're looking to relocate, just reach out to me either by phone and text at this number or shoot me an email. You know, I'd be glad to show you around and especially here in E-Town. Okay, what I wanna first do is show you uh, maps of where E-Town is. Now for people in the North Florida area, they're probably familiar with it, but if you're coming from out of the area, you have no idea, you've probably never heard of E-Town. You've heard of Jacksonville, but not E-Town. So here, check out these maps. Here, this first map here is, okay, we're showing the Jacksonville area here in Florida, and we're gonna zoom in here to where E-Town is. Now E-Town is right here you can see off of this Interstate 295 that loops around Jacksonville and then another road 9B. Now it's right off to the side of that so it's easy access to get to Jacksonville or the areas from this from this E-Town area. Now when I start out in the field on the video I'm going to be in my car and I'm driving on the E-Town Parkway so right here where this arrow is this is where we're going to pick up I'm coming off of 295 I'm coming off of 9B and then we're going to take the E-Town Parkway up we're going to go first here to the uh, to the hub and welcome center and then we're going to go and I'm going to stop by the amenity center to show you what's going on there because everyone that is a homeowner here in the Kettering neighborhood has access to this amenity center. Okay, next you'll see here we're going up to where the Kettering neighborhood is. Now here's the site plan of the, of the neighborhood. Okay. I'm going to be walking this whole neighborhood, okay? These are all the Providence homes. I'll be starting around here, okay, and this is where the model homes will be, and then I'm going to be going through this area of the new construction and all through these areas and walking through. And what's so good about walking through it on foot, one, it wore me out, but it really gives you a down-to-earth look at what's going on because I walk through the backyards of a couple and show you what it's like on the waterfront of these homes and also you can see where you know you've got the preserve areas too and it just gives you a better feel of what's going on so one thing here what you'll see with E-Town and I'm going back to a map this area here you're very close to Jacksonville downtown area you're close to the beaches it's easy access to the airport and by the way Jacksonville airport is one of the easiest ones to get to and then if you wanted to go south anywhere else to like St. Augustine or Daytona, you know, it's, it's no problem, you know, getting on the highway to get there. Also, you're close to the state line, you know, being up here in the Jacksonville area. So if you wanted to make trips like up to the mountains or so, it's not as far, you know, as maybe some other places from Florida to reach. So, all right, now we're going to get started. I'm going to be, next time I'm going to meet you is in my car and we're on E-Town Parkway. Okay, here we just got off the 9B Expressway and you see it there on the overpass. On the left you see the E-Town sign and another sign there on the right. Also on the right you see some other apartments. But we are on uh, E-Town Parkway right now and um, this, is, this is the beginning of E-Town. Also see these apartments over there on the right. These are new construction. So there's a lot more residents coming in the apartment complexes. 
Now, after we get past this light here, we're going to head to, we're going to stop off real quickly here at the E-Town Hub and Welcome Center. Um, and I just wanted to show you this. Um, you know, it's nice to at least see where things are and where you drive through as you, you know, before you go to some place. Because this would be the first place you'd come to um, if you're new to E-Town and want to check the place out. And this is where we'd meet. And you can see because of the construction, you know, everything's kind of messed up here. Um, they even got some barricades up here. So you can't go through there where you used to be able to go past that. Um, so it's just nice to see where things are before you actually drive out there. And that's why I show you this where we're driving. So we're going to park here just for a second. All right, well, here is where we're at, the Welcome Center and the Hub, okay? And if you were coming out to, why well, I wanted to show you this spot is because if you're coming out here to relocate and was thinking about E-Town as a place to buy a home and live, I'd meet you here first at, at, the, at the Hub and Welcome Center. And then we go inside and then the staff there can help us with showing us all about the things that are happening here in E-Town and about the amenities and everything else and about the new businesses because this is really going to be like a little town. And then how to get around, how easy it is, the golf cart paths and all that. Now of course you hear all the beep beeps behind me and, the, and all this construction noise going on. That's because there, this place is new, okay? And what's going on right behind me is, and you can see the sign right there, they're building a new Publix here. And you can see by the sign it's going to be early 2003. And then I'm going to pan the camera around so you can see a little bit more, but there's new apartment buildings going over here, dental office, and all kinds of stuff. There'll be like restaurants and things too. They just built a new fire station and a new gate gas station across the street. Okay, we're going to head over towards the neighborhoods now and um, you know, check that check that out. So here I'm going to again take you for a drive to see what it's like. We'll just leave here the visitor center at Hub and uh, we'll go back out here to uh, E-Town Parkway. Get a view. I think that's going to be the dental office right there. And then you see those apartments right there. They're very close to the downtown area here of the E-Town. So we'll go out here now on E-Town Parkway. And this takes us up a little while. And there's the fire station was just off to the left there. That's a brand new fire station for this area as we go around these circles. Um, you know, all these new developments, they like these, they like these circles, you know, and uh, I guess they're better than stopping at a stop sign. The only problem you have is when you get some people that don't know how to use it and they don't, you know, let other people enter the circle and they just, like, force themselves in and you're stuck there. Um, something, you know, you see all the cones out. There's a lot of new construction going on right there, a new development that's right next, actually, to the, um, to the hub and welcome center. And, you know, all E-Town here, there's different like neighborhoods um, just like you see there Marconi and then you had like a, a Del Webb will be off to the left now we we end up going to a you know narrowing down to a two lane and you see all the landscaping now because this is new you notice you know a lot of these trees are, are smaller here along this part now the preserve where they left everything undeveloped of course you got all the older growth um, which is nice to see but they've done a pretty good job here of um, of landscaping all this around here which I like and then as the years go on you know then these trees will grow and then I uh, get a little more mature and it'll, it'll be a lot nicer but right now it's it's pretty nice they, they've done a lot of good landscaping mixed it up with different types of trees and also of course they got a lot of palms Right here on the right is what they call the recharge center. We're going to stop in here and check this place out because it's on it's on the way to the Kettering uh, neighborhood. So um, you know, I just want to show you you know what's what's in here. 
there as you can see on the left that is one of those golf cart trails and also pedestrians and everything else as we come into this recharge area it's like the amenity center you see right there on the left you've got the dog parks for the big dogs and little dogs and they've also got here they've got a children's playground um, so let me turn real quick here back in the park and there you can kind of see the playground and then this is where of course the pool is and then the place to hang out where they got the patio so we're going to stop here and then go take a look around this for a little bit well, here we are at the dog park. You know, like I said, we're going to check this out here before we go over to the pool area. It's great. You've got plenty of parking here. And then you've got two actual sides to it. One for small dogs and one for large dogs. And this is a pretty nice area for, for the dogs to take them out. Um, of course, the small dogs is a smaller area and then the large dogs a larger area. But check this out here. I'm just going to pan around here so you can get a feel of how big this park is. All right, now we're inside the pool area, and what a great area this is. In fact, check out this pool here behind me. It's called the Zero Entry Pool. I didn't even know what one of those things was until I came here to, to film this video. But it's almost just like a beach, how it slowly goes in. You don't just jump in or walk downstairs. You can walk in gradually. It's super nice. And something else you're going to notice around here. There's plenty of chairs out here for layout, and they got these beautiful canopies all around for shade and then even some umbrellas. Here, let me pan it around for you to take a look. And then right next to the, to the zero entry pool, you've got this nice lap pool. Here, check this out. So you like being near the pool, but you don't want to go in the pool? No problem, because there's plenty of areas around here with tables, umbrellas. Check out these palm trees around here. This is a great area to just hang out. Hey, speaking about hanging out around the pool without going in the pool, check this out. They've got this upstairs patio. This is fantastic. You got this beautiful upstairs view of the pool. Also, you can check out, you can see the uh, playground. So if you got kids in the playground, you can be up here enjoying your refreshments while keeping an eye on the kids. But I can just see sitting up here, hanging out. I mean, especially on some nice nights, they got the lights all here to light up. They got a big screen TV and a bar area. This is beautiful. No, it almost may have been a mistake for me to stop by here before we went to the neighborhood because now I don't want to leave. All right, we're gonna head out now and um, take a drive out to uh, Kettering, that neighborhood. There, I said it right.
at least this time. take us out there again there's the dog parks on the right and uh, back there a little ways there was also some parking like for golf carts that they got specifically for um, and this is car parking here because you can ride your golf carts from anywhere you know any of these neighborhoods into this all the way down actually to the uh, welcome center because um, all the all the streets are golf cart friendly and then of course they got that that large um, path on the side, as we can see right there, see on the right, where people ride their golf carts or they just go walking, um, taking a stroll, whatever, bike riding. Um, like these these folks right here pushing a baby stroller. So, And they say this like off to the white line here, they say that's a bike line, but it's not designated as such. I don't see any markings. So I just, you know, I mean, me, if I was riding a bike here, I'd be riding it over there on the golf cart side. So I'm going to have a map pull up here so you can see where we're at right now. And what we got to do is go through this one more circle. And then after this circle that we come to, then we'll take us over to the uh, Kettering neighborhood. All right, back here we're approaching it right now. See the little sign? And they're not too bad. And just as we're driving, just notice the, you know, like I said, the landscape. Like here on the circle, I love it. Look, check out all the palms they've got. You know, it's really nice. I mean, this is really easy on your eyes driving through here. Um, and even with all these neighborhoods that are off to the sides, um, you know, they've got all this, all these trees, you know, um, off the side of the road here. So it gives you a nice little buffer from from the neighborhoods and it's also a nice buffer for the folks that are living in those neighborhoods um, you know against the street here coming out so not too long before we're up here to the neighborhood and then notice too notice like all the utilities there they um, they've got the um, you know, it looks buried. You don't have all these overhead lines to the light poles. We're going to turn in here. This takes us into Kettering. And again, we're going to focus on the single family homes in this neighborhood. And the single family homes in this neighborhood are built by a company, Providence Homes. And so we're going to take a look at those and see what they are. And as we turn here, you see right there on the left, those are the model homes for Providence. Okay, and then the Providence uh, Model Home Center there, and that's the place that you know we would come to if you were interested in this neighborhood. Uh, first, we'd meet at the hub, and then we come out here, and then we'd meet one of the agents here. And here you see some more new construction right there, all behind us. So, I mean, there's a lot that's already sold in building, but there's still a lot coming available and a lot available right now. Okay, here's the beginning of the neighborhood, and where we start here is where Providence has their model homes as you can see them behind me and you take a look and this is where their model homes are now on a map just so that you get the bearings right if you look at this map right now this is where I'm at okay right here now what we'll do is like because since we're close to the corner I'm gonna take you over here and show you it's like a new area they opened up and they've got they've been doing quite a bit of construction over here already so they got it pretty you know there may even be some homes already moved in yet but I'm gonna show you right here on, we're on the corner there you see it teetering crossing and invention and then look behind me there now you see all that that's all that's that new area that's going up right here on the map where you see this area that's it now when you look at the old Google Maps you see how much how old they are to where you know all this was under construction well, that's why we're going to walk through it now so you can see the difference well as you can see a lot of these are starting to get near completion as you see the sign behind me this one's sold already and they've got the driveways in the pavers looks real nice and over here on this side got a lot more starting and construction And actually, let's look at, let's take a look and see this lot. Here. 
Yeah, see this one here you got on water. And then these are all on the water too. That's nice. And then you got that green space over on the other side. Yeah. yeah let's, let's just cut through the backyards here. Since nobody's living here yet, it don't matter. I know it's pretty wet. We've had a lot of rain out here lately. You know, it's funny, you know, when after what we just, you know, when you look at the areas, when we see what's completed, where the homes are completed, it's amazing. And when you look at them like in this stage of the game, it doesn't look like much. But then, they start to come together, you know, it looks like a real nice home. Here we are, another one sold. So, I mean, this, this area is a hot area. Um, about everything, even even right now in this market, you know, they talk about how construction sales are down, and uh, you know, in general, you know, they're hurting. Everyone's lowering prices, all that. But depends on depends on where you're at. I mean, yeah, their sales here too are down, just like everywhere else. I just want to mention. Look, we're on the cul-de-sac here. And that's nice, these lots here, they've got all that green space on the side. It's real nice. But, you know, it all depends, like I say, on where you're at. You know, um, you got a desirable neighborhood like this, you know, where you're close to Jacksonville, close to the St. John's Town Center, all those, uh, all those stores, not far from the beach. Um, also, like you know the concern to a lot of folks that maybe have to travel you know by air the airport's not too far also to get to and uh but the jacksonville airport what's kind of nice about it it was built away from the downtown so it's out there so it's actually a pretty easy airport to get in and out i might have to do a video showing that um, because I get people that they're calling me all the time about relocating up here in North Florida and they want to fly in and asking should they fly into Jacksonville or Orlando and uh, I tell them avoid Orlando I mean that place is a mess um, Jacksonville is just so easier to get in and out of so keep that in mind in case you want to fly in and check out some of these areas here in North Florida okay now we're on this was just the street this was was Bright Path. Now we're on the corner, Bright Path and Invention. And on the map, on the map you can see where we're at. So here we'll go down Invention a little bit. Looks like we're gonna have to watch that. We got a truck coming. Don't know if it's coming this way or not. It's gonna be a little hard to talk right now. We may have to wait until he passes by. But there's two more sold. Look at that. I mean, this is where I'm saying you got, everyone's talking about this bad economy and this and that and housing market, but um, oh, looks like he's coming this way. So hold on, Let's let him pass. Oh, maybe he's not. But here's another one sold, Look at that. What I was saying was, People are talking about this bad economy. That was, well, yeah, houses may be down, you know, as far as the sales, but see, as you can see here, all this new construction, I mean, I mean, they're, they're selling it here. Now, some of these may have been sold, you know, uh, another month or two ago, maybe even longer, but still, sold, sold, sold. And then we're at the end of the cul-de-sac there. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll head on back or, you know, pack over here towards the models, and then I'll go ahead and we're going to walk through the rest of uh, this area, these other streets, and there you're going to see more newer homes, and then the homes that are actually move-in ready right now, where you can get into it. There's no waiting, you know, year and a half, 12 months, six months, even a month. I mean, they're ready to move in right now. So let's go check that out. All right, so. 
One thing that I noticed that I like, well, we'll see more new construction behind us there. As we go through, go through this area here, I like the fact that there's sidewalks here, okay? Now, they, it looks like they put the sidewalks on one side, okay? Now, that's okay, at least you got a place. I mean, some older neighborhoods, they used to put them on both sides, but I guess they kind of cut. But what I like is, as you can see here, see how we got the sidewalks. And to me, that's nice. And then what I'm looking at also, that as we walk through here, we're gonna see there's some, uh, all your utilities and everything are all underground. You see like, the, notice the lamp post that we just passed, there's no wires going down to it. And as we come up here right now, you're gonna see there's the power and the phone, and that's all buried. Now, now, it looks like we hit them out here on garbage day because there's garbage cans everywhere as I'm walking along. And I tell you what, you know, we just take a look at these homes and as I'm walking around and you see how beautiful they are. Of course, everything's new. Now, something that some people complain about with like say, like these newer master plan communities and new areas like this, is that these new homes, you look at them, they say they're too close. Well. Here's the example as you can see behind me. They are kind of close because the lots, they'll be like 40, 50 feet wide. Now, the only thing I can say is if that's not for you, then, then it's not for you, then this wouldn't be the place. Now I stopped by the model home office and I got a sheet here, some homes that are new homes that are ready to move in now. Um, so we're gonna see if we can walk by and take a look at those and uh, see what they're like and what the lots are. There's a lot of areas here that border up to some water or like to a green space. So now there's some that don't, but pretty much a lot do. And of course those lots are premium when you got something like that, no matter where you are. Alright, now I'm on the corner of Engineering Way. Well, hold on, we gotta wait. Got this truck going by. There we go. Alright, now we're on the corner of Invention Lane and Engineering Way. Okay, and on the map, that would put me right about here. So now we'll take a walk down here, and what was that? We were at. That's right, Engineering Way, that's where we're at, okay. Now, something about this neighborhood too, it's all closed to where it all dead ends. That means the only people driving around here are people that live here, going to and from their house. It's, it's not traffic, you know, going going past your house, which is real nice. It makes it for a nice, safe place I mean, to live at. Of course, when you got the sidewalks and all, and then the streets, and by the way, you know, all these streets, you can drive an electric golf cart through here if you want to, and then connect it to that golf cart pass out there and go all the way down to the center part of the town, you know, which like the town center area where they're building all those new stores in the Publix. So let's see, I'm gonna try to find one of these houses that they've got that's move-in ready right now so we can check out that lot. Let me check it out and see. All right, here we've got one here that's right on the corner. Here, check it out. That's this one here, the green, brown. Man, this is beautiful, beautiful driveway. And check out this lot. Here you're on, you're on a cul-de-sac. So right here, see, got nothing else around you. And then what's really nice is you've got this green space over here on the other side of your lot. Check that out. I mean, this is, this is really nice. Let's walk in the back here and check it out. Now 
Now see, you can, you can put up privacy fences. Some people put up the gated fences. And then of course, when you've got all this green space next to you on this one side, it's like, like living out in the woods. See, some of the, some of the complaints some people had was like, you know, like normally this is where the next house would be. Okay, so you got all these windows. Think about it. You got all these windows over here on the side of the house. You'd be looking at another house. But if you bought this house, you're looking at the woods. <laughs> it's really nice. Let's see the backyard. They come with the covered patios. Now then, I guess you'd, you'd have to enclose it in. This particular one didn't come in with it closed up. So. Okay, now here's an example where somebody, they where they screened in their patio area. Like you say, they come with the covered patios, but not screened in. But this one's screened in, and you can check it out, how they put the, the grill over there, which is nice. And then the patio furniture. And then leading outside, pretty nice. They they put out uh, you know one of those little gas fire pits down here to enjoy, and got the seats. You know, put some pavers down, and then put the pergola up here with some lights. Of course, you got some palm trees. This is a real nice setup. So see, even though you got you know, a smaller amount of space per yard. It's not like these big, big lots that some people want. You still can do a lot to make it enjoyable to live back here. Just check this out. But the thing is, this house here is new construction, brand new and moving ready. That means if you come work a deal, you know, your cash or finance or whatever, I mean, you can move in right away. And, and that's gold with a new construction home. Most of these new construction homes, man, when you'd order one, after you pick out your lot, used to be like six months. Now it's like, now it's like a year, year and a half. So to find some that are already here, and it probably is because of the market changing, because you really didn't find much of this earlier where you know, they had these ones that were ready to move in soon. But what would happen is, before that they were ready to move in, say a couple months before, they were already sold. So, you know, if you were waiting to see what it was like, what kind of countertops they put in and all that, it was too late. But now, you can go in there, no one's ever lived there, you'd be the first ones. Let's see if we can find another one as we look at the streets. Now, something I'm noticing down like the side street off of the that main there, like where these cul-de-sacs are, notice that there's no sidewalks here. See? And I don't know if that would matter to you or not. So, let's see here. So here we are right now on intellect and engineering. Okay, so on the map you can see where that's at. So let's just take a walk down here intellect. And see what we see. Again, you got garbage cans all over the place. It's obviously garbage day. And notice here, you know, it's another cul-de-sac here at the end, and there's no sidewalks in this area either. But again, you don't you don't really have any traffic here, so. And I think we're coming up on another one of their houses that's that's moving ready. Let me check my sheet and see. Yep, this one is. Okay, here, check it out. Now, see you've got a house on this side. Okay. And you see what I'm talking about, how they're close. And let's go look here. On you got a house on this side. So what's so special about this one then? Well, this one actually is on water. Remember I told you some of them are on water and some of them are on green space? Very few aren't next to one or the other, so let's check it out. Now something that I'm kind of noticing as we're walking here, notice there's a lot of windows. 
And remember I was saying like you have the windows, you don't want to be looking out at the neighbors because they're close. But the way they designed the house, at least these two here, they don't have windows on this side so that way the people aren't looking at each other, you know, which I thought was that's pretty well designed like that. Um, let's see what we got. What's the lure to this lot? Well, there you are, the water. And, and you've got a nice, nice area. Here, check this out. You got a lot of, a lot of open green here. Now, nobody has the fences up yet, so. And I don't know what the rules are for putting a fence up like where the water is. You know, because your property line, you know, probably, probably stops short over here somewhere, so it doesn't go down to the water's edge. But, I'm just gonna pan this around and show that like, if you're sitting outside here, if this is your house, which is right there behind me, okay, and you're sitting on the patio, this is what you're gonna see. Check this out. That's nice. That's real nice. No one behind you. And then on the other side, see on the other side of the water is you've got green space and trees so I mean that that's real nice and of course this is a covered porch here too that you'd have to screen in if you wanted to or you could just leave it out me I got an open porch at my house and I just use like those little insect repellents like the, the thermocells and then I'll use another thing that has the attractants that puts them in and zaps them with that blue light and so between the thermocell and the zapper, you know, I've got the mosquitoes pretty under control. Let's see. All right, let's go take a walk. As you can see, I mean, it's a nice, nice quiet neighborhood to take a walk, you know, and if you want to take a bike ride, okay, or if you want to take that golf course out and it's nice and what's really good you know you don't have right now because these homes are all new you don't have any really resales out here now they pop up some time because somebody's life event could cause it but for the most part you don't have any to choose from it's all new and like I said you, you know you got to wait so long but with them having these houses that are up for sale right now that move in this this is really great all right all right now we're back on well let's see here we're back on engineering way so here you look at the map look at where we're at and you see we've got back to where we've got the sidewalks here you know on one side and it looks like there's some more houses here that are that are under construction. Now I mentioned that that we had the, um, those. There was like three of them that were moving right now. I think we're coming up to another one. I'll show you. But they've got some others. And uh, as soon as we get up to this house here, I'll uh, I'll take you. I'll show you the. Uh, I'll, I'll look up the map and tell you what more they've got. Some that are moving in, like maybe next month. Or November December so if some of you wanted to get in you know before Christmas you know then you could so let's see if this let's see if this one's one of them okay this one here is one of those that are you can move in now it looks like they just completed this or in final clean because they're still you know got a few things in the garage yet that, that clean up but for the most part, you're ready. You can move in this house. I think they're probably locked. Yeah. Let's see what the backyard's like on this one. <laughs> Someone said some nice wind chimes. All right, check it out. This one has water, too. Now, now what's real nice is, again, where you have the water, you've got the green space on the other side. 
So what's, what's nice about having the water is you're not going to have you're not going to have anyone right behind you. But then even the, even with that, you look you don't see houses on the other side of the water too. So that really that really steps it up. Here, let's check out the other side. Yeah, it's a real nice house. I just think no waiting, no waiting. You can get in this house, and it's hot out here today. Let me check it out. Okay, I want to show you another house here. That now I'm filming this. Okay, we're in the middle of September, and this one here will probably be ready probably the end of September, or or maybe. Um, Maybe in October sometime. So let's let's check it out the back just to see what it's like. And again, you notice how you know it's limited windows on one house where they got more windows on the other, which is nice, you know, for a little bit of privacy. This lot seems to have a little bit more room between the houses. Again, this one here, it's out, it's out here on the water too because it's just down, a couple houses down from the other one. But as you can see, some folks, you know, they've got the, they got the wire fencing where you can see through, and then some can. Now, there's an example, okay, where they're bringing their fence down. Okay, that must be the property line, and then the other edge is like, uh, is like the easement or the common property there for the green space and the water. All right, let's walk down the street a little bit more just to see what it's like, see what else is being built once there. And again, you notice how nice it is with all the utilities buried. Look at that. Now we're coming up to a big pile up here, so that must mean a lot of construction going on at this house. see and again this road here is another dead-end road so far I've been pretty lucky it's been clouding up but we haven't got any rain yet we've got some trucks coming by construction trucks it's gonna be a little noisy here If you can see it, watch behind me. We'll look between these houses, all these houses. See how they're on the greens? They've got that green space all behind them. So just think, I understand like some of these newer homes, you don't got big yards and stuff like that. And if that's what you need, that's what you're looking for, you know, then this isn't for you. Um, but if you're looking for a nice home to live, you got some amenities, you're you're close to some shops and stores that are in your town, um, then you can, uh, then a place like this could be. And when you've got green space like that, well, then you can sit out your barbecue back there on that patio and just have a good time just looking at all this. Like, see, this is all green space here. So these folks that are living on these houses here, you know, this is their front yard. They're looking at that. They're not looking at a bunch of other houses. And again, here we're on a we're on a cul-de-sac again. So turn around, and this one here, there's another house there, and it's probably sold. That's on the end of that cul-de-sac where you've got all this green space. That's pretty nice. Okay, right now I'm back here on the corner corner of let's see, Invention Lane and Engineering Way, as you can see on the map. 
and uh, what we're going to do now we're going to walk down invention lane the other way before remember we made the turn down here and walked down and looked at all that now we're going to go the other way and as you can see you've got the sidewalks back again here on this side everything really looks good and it looks like this is their mailbox center where all the mail is Now, you know, and, that, and that's another thing that some people, you know, with like uh, places like this, they, you know, like these developments, they, they don't like that they have to go get their mail at a center like that. Well, what it does, though, helps keep everything nice and clean. You know, it's, it's more than just having the, more than just having the uh, power and utilities underground, but, you know, you don't have all those mailboxes. And then... You know, you got to deal with, okay, people not taking care of their mailboxes. It looks looks kind of crappy, so uh, you just don't deal with it, you know. And again, you know, if that's one of the things that really bothers you, then this kind of community is not for you. But there's plenty of other stuff, you know, that, that I can show you that's, uh, that has acreage if you want it. But, uh, but you know, this, this doesn't. Um, you know, these type of communities are for people. You want to be more in the urban life, closer to the cities and stuff. So, uh, you know, that's the way they're, they're made. And a lot of people like it because they sell them. All right, we're getting down to this one where we're going to be at the cul-de-sac. Now, here you can see where behind me where they got the utilities and somebody, they put up some landscaping around it to kind of, to kind of hide it off. But you got to kind of be careful with that on how much landscaping you can put around those things. Because some of them do, they have to have access for the workers to get to them for maintenance. And then also there can be issues with cooling and stuff like that. All right, here we're on the end of the street. And when you look at the map right here, this is where you see where I'm at. And again, here you got green space there. So you got these two nice lots here that have green space for those houses. And like it says, there's one available still. So if you wanted something like that, it's here. But this gives you an idea here of what of what this area here, Keterine, is like. And we just walked the whole area. And so you can see, if you wanted to be in this part, um, and there's limited houses now, because they're almost sold out. Now, I'm going to tell you something special about the houses that are here in Keterine in just a moment. We're going to get back to the... Um, to that uh, where the uh, model homes are and I'm gonna show you something that's special about these Providence homes that are in this Keterine area that's pretty outrageous that right now with soaring energy prices and everything this house these houses here could be a good deal for you here we'll check it out okay I'm back here at the model center now and I'm gonna take you into one of these model homes and I want to show you something that's absolutely incredible. You ain't going to believe it, especially on a hot day like today. Here, let's go inside. They're what they call zero energy ready homes. You see? Right there. Now, what that is, that means these homes are set up so that when you're using the renewable energy, you know, like solar panels, things like that, you can actually, your energy costs <laughs> for the house can be zero. It, it, it cancels itself out or very little, very little. Now, with today's energy prices going up so much as they have, um, you know, it may, may not be right at zero, but it depends on what you use it for. I mean, of course, you know, the house feels cool here, but something that's really neat about these homes is that's unique with these Providence homes is their attics are sealed. You know how a lot of attics, they have vents going through them? Well, these attics are sealed. And in fact, here, let's go upstairs. I wanna get into the attic and show you something. And since this one has a second floor model and we can go up here to the attic. Okay. Beautiful house. All right, now, what they do with their attics 
is they seal them all up. And I'm gonna show you some of how that sealing is. We're gonna take the camera in there, look at it. But as hot as it is here, here, here's a snapshot of right now when I'm filming this of the, of the temperature outside where we're at right now. All right, now you know what an attic would be like going in something with temperatures like that outside. Well, check it out. We're gonna go in this attic. They've got a thermometer they keep in the attic because this is a selling point of these houses and wait till you see what it is. Here, let's check it out. Check it out in the attic right there. It's like around 76 degrees. 76 degrees in the attic. Now, let's see if I can, if this camera can show, we can see, can you see like all that foam? That spray foamed is all through the attic. Here, we'll take another shot over here and look. And that's what keeps this attic so cool. Here's a little something they tell about it. Hey, until the next neighborhood, I'm out of here. <laughs>